Welcome or welcome back and I need help at C squared. In this example, we have a polynomial inequality, x cubed greater or equals 5x squared. The first thing you want to do is to subtract 5x squared on both sides. You end up with x cubed minus 5x squared greater or equals 0. So you, want, you always want to have 0 on one side. And then you're going to use factoring. In this case, we're going to use GCF. Then we have x squared as a common factor and then x minus 5. And we're going to make it equals to 0 to find when it is equals to 0. And x squared equals 0 is going to give us one value, x equals 0. And x minus 5 equals 0 is going to give us x equals 5. We have these two values that we're going to put them on the table. And x, the polynomial function. Uh, so... Let me be sure it's equals 5 here. Um, so we're going to put this 0 and 5. In this moment, the polynomial function is 0. Um, and now I'm going to use a value um, less than 0, like a negative 1. And if you go again here in the factor form, negative 1 squared is a positive number, right? And mm, so it's going to be a positive here. And negative 1 minus 5 is a negative number. Uh, so the, this one will be negative here. The, then we can go with a number between 0 and 5. Uh, like 1. Okay. If we use that 1, again, we get a positive value here. X squared is going to be always positive, And 1 minus 5 is a negative. So still a negative value. So there is no... A change of sign here, yeah, because we have that x squared. That is a thing that you may want to remember. Um, and we have one more interval, the uh, greater than 5. Uh, so in this moment, x minus 5 is also positive. So here we do have a, 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 a change of the sign. The polynomial function is positive. So now if we look to the second inequality which is equivalent to the one that we start from the solution set will be this one from five to infinity be sure you put a bracket for five because we have the equal sign involved you can see the same story here uh, on on this uh, right side when the graph goes on top of the x-axis that's the solution set if you enjoyed this video please don't forget to click the like button and come back on c squared for more help thank you